Some people might call this dramatic, but I don't think so. Solana is absolutely crashing and it's underperforming everything else. This is not just the bear market taking over. This is Solana doing worse than others. Let's have a look at what's behind this and let's see whether or not this can turn around. Does it make sense to buy this dip now? Here are the top cryptocurrencies and in the last seven days, SOL went down by 20%, more than double of what Ethereum lost. Or have a look at this. This is the total value locked on various blockchains on DeFi Llama. How much capital is currently locked up in various blockchains? In the last seven days, Solana went down by 25%. That's more than any other blockchain in the same time period. The only blockchain that could make some gains was the base chain. And if you've been following this channel for a while, then you made some money with that base chain. For example, we bought the Aerodrome token quite early. But yeah, now trading altcoins is a game against a lot of odds, especially if you're on Solana. So it's not really the bridge total value locked that went down that much. There is a decline in the last 24 hours for pretty much any blockchain, but Solana doesn't really stand out here. And it's also not the people that are long-term convinced of Solana that are selling. Because have a look at this. This is the staked SOL in various liquid staking protocols. This is actually constantly rising. So more and more SOL is locked away to get a tiny APY on their SOL. Those are not active traders that cause the ups and downs of the moment. The long-term investors are still on board. So that's not what's driving this drop. But have a look at this, for example. This is the decentralized exchange trading volume. And each single bar here represents one week. We saw a peak in the middle of March. And since then, we are declining very, very quickly. We went from 26.7 billion to less than half of that in the current week. The liquidity on those decentralized exchanges hasn't yet adjusted. So that means the APYs for locking up your capital in various liquidity pools are going down. So I believe the capital here is also likely going to decrease at some point, simply as a result of the decreased trading volume, the APYs on liquidity pools are created through trading fees. And have a look at this. This is the number of active addresses on Solana. Also a weekly chart. This one peaked even one week before on the 11th of March of this year. So the price decline in the Solana token in SOL is actually fundamentally driven. There is less activity, both in terms of trading activity and just raw capital, but also in the number of active wallet addresses, in the number of people that engage with Solana. And one reason might simply be that most of that activity was caused by meme coin trading and if you do meme coin trading for long enough then at some point you will get wrecked if you don't have proper risk management and most people don't unfortunately now there's another reason why especially solana is suffering and that's the relative valuation solana is already very very high relative to for example ethereum but also as a fraction of all of crypto as in the solana dominance let's have a look i talked about this exact chart in the last solana video so feel free to check out that prior video on this channel what we see over here is solana relative to ethereum this peaked in november of 2021 it bottomed in december of 2022 then we saw a very nice rally all caused by the meme coin trading frenzy more than 500 percent outperformance versus ethereum but now the air got thin and so risk versus reward isn't that great anymore once you're at those elevated levels and this is actually quite a bit of a correction this doesn't look like much but check this out. This is 18% underperformance. Again, relative to EVE. And EVE already didn't do too well. Here is the Solana dominance. Not that different of a chart. And of course, there's even a levered play on the tokens on the Solana chain. This here is Radium relative to SOL. It could easily drop another 46% from here. So that's simply the issue, right? The risk, in this case, in the worst case, minus 80% versus the potential reward is not really worth it, especially in a climate where most activity is just meme coin trading. It's just a casino. There's not a lot of innovation happening here. So that's how the game is being played, right? It's both a game of luck, but also of skill. And as there is more and more trading going on, the more the money will flow from the not so skilled retail investors 
to the more skilled whales that time the market better. At some point, retail doesn't have a lot of money anymore. At some point, the whales don't see that much more reward relative to the risk. And then we see a deflation and those deflations can be very, very brutal. And so I believe it makes sense to be somewhat risk off. If you're still heavily in Solana, take some profit. I don't have a crystal ball either, right? But simply just looking at the charts, looking at the dynamics, why would you be overexposed to SOL in this environment? Wouldn't it be better to look for new opportunities again? Look for the pockets where new excitement might spring up again. The attention is probably not going to be on the thousands meme coin on Solana. Something new has to happen to get people excited. Now I publish videos regularly regularly on where currently the attention is headed on where the potential next altcoin opportunity is if you want to be part of this feel free to subscribe a like would be very much appreciated as well it helps the channel grow there's also a free telegram link is down below